everyone. My name is Carolyn Mall, and I am the Nutritional Director here at Nutrition River. In my 14 plus years of studying food, fitness, and fads, I have become obsessed with getting the facts. And I'm so happy that I have this platform to share what I know with you. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the correlation between elevated cholesterol and intermittent fasting. So to start with, what is elevated cholesterol, LDL, HDL, what the heck is happening there? And then how does intermittent fasting help to bring your cholesterol levels under control? So when people are eating a diet of highly processed foods or highly caloric foods. So it might not be that you're eating fried foods all the time, but it might be that your daily caloric intake is much higher than your daily caloric expenditure, right? As in you're taking in a lot more than you're burning. When that happens, when you are taking in a lot of fried foods, processed foods, or overly just, you're just eating too much. What happens in your body is that there is a process that happens in your liver called lipogenesis. So our body is designed to be in balance all of the time. And when we eat food, especially carbohydrate-based foods, it creates an insulin response in our body and insulin is a storage hormone, okay? So insulin is a storage hormone. Its job is to usher in glucose into our cells and glycogen into our muscles. However, for those of us who are eating a little bit more than what we're expending, we have excess glucose glycogen circulating in our bloodstream, which our body doesn't like because that is out of balance. So what happens is insulin takes that, those extra calories to your liver, your liver does a trick called lipogenesis, which means making fat, and it basically stores those extra calories as fat, usually starting around your midsection. Now, that fat that is being stored is also being circulated in your bloodstream, okay? And so herein lies the thing with the LDL, the HDL, and so that's low density lipoproteins, high density lipoproteins. There's also a thing called VLDL, very low density lipoproteins. That's the worst kind of fat. When excess fat is circulating within your bloodstream, it actually starts to clog your arteries, leading to high blood pressure, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, right? Atherosclerosis, all of the things that lead to, well, you not living as long as you could. So I wanted to just address this, what is LDL? Those are the bad cholesterol pieces that are circulating throughout your bloodstream and how intermittent fasting can perhaps help you with that. Intermittent fasting makes sure that you are eating in a very small window of time. Within that small window of time, you are actually eating all of your calories for the day, a sufficient amount of calories, hopefully a healthy amount of calories, but it also gives your body a big window to be able to heal itself. There's a process called autophagy, I covered in another video here, wherein the cell itself uses enzymes to kind of clean house, to sweep out the bad, to be able to retrain your body as far as it's hormone response to eating food with leptin and ghrelin responses so that you understand when you're full, so that you can start to moderate your insulin levels. We have this great article here on Nutrition River called The Science Behind Intermittent Fasting. I hope that you'll go ahead and give it a quick read. I could go on all day. But please leave a comment below here with any questions that you have, maybe any um, health benefits that you've discovered by intermittent fasting that has helped you to lower your, your cholesterol levels to um, basically prevent disease. That is what we're talking about here. How can we increase 
the quality and quantity of our lives simply by eating a little bit less. Thank you so much for being a part of Nutrition River. And until next time, 